Hey everybody, it's I Am Faja again with the last installment of the series uh, editing with Windows Movie Maker. We're going to change the name of this series here to how to create or let's see how we want to say that how to capture, edit, and post a gameplay video to YouTube. Uh, if you've not seen the previous uh, three or four videos in the series, uh, please click on the link that has just popped up and go take a look at them. If you watch them in order, it'll make more sense. If you have a question about this video, please uh, go to uh, the comment sections of this video. And before posting your question, please review the comments to see if your question's been asked and I have answered it already, which is what we've been doing with uh, all of these videos. Okay, so first of all, <clears throat> just a real quick recap. Uh, we have um, captured our... Uh, video we have imported our video we have edited our video and we have published our video and if you watch the last installment the video that we created was this high-rise snipe video right here very short very simple little video uh, just to sort of give you some basics of how it works so I figured I'd go ahead and finish one and uh, show you exactly how to post it so I'm gonna go ahead and open up Internet Explorer here and I want to talk about YouTube for just a minute and again uh, help you learn some stuff I did uh, forever when I signed into YouTube uh, this is how my page look and it sort of pissed me off because uh, I was like um, why am I never seeing my subscriptions to other sites pop up well one day I learned that this doesn't need to be my favorite place uh, you need to sign out and then re-sign in and when you do uh, your page will look like this and you can actually go in here and edit your subscriptions and you can look at your people and what they're posting uh, you can see the recommended for you you can check your inbox and your comments you can see recent activity by those people that uh, you um, uh, are subscribed to and um, videos being watched around the world and featured videos most popular and one thing that I do like is the insight uh, this shows me where my videos are being watched and it shows me the most popular videos I'm going to talk about a lot today and we're going to go through it fast to sort of keep it under uh, 10 minutes so let's just go ahead and get started uh, uploading to YouTube uh, I'm going to go over here to this page right here if you go to your page uh, anywhere on here you'll always see the upload banner here now there's one interesting fact about YouTube when you upload a video if you're working off of a wireless computer your best bet is to get your uh, video to your desktop or a video that has a hard wire connection it'll cut about 35 to 45 percent of the upload time off of it uh, it's very difficult to upload a video while you're playing on your Xbox and uh, it can cause lag and if you're uploading several ones you want to make sure they're right plus the important thing to remember is that as soon as your video is done uploading depending on its length there's a processing time so let's just go ahead and start the process of uploading a video I'm going to click on upload right here and we're going to go to upload a video again and we're going to scroll down to our folder that has our videos in it we're going to go to high rise uh, snipe right here and we're going to open that video now you'll notice that the title of your video is automatically inserted up here uh, and wow this video is going really really fast so let me skip past that and show you something first thing you want to do is go down here and click on private and hit save changes now YouTube on my end is kind of funny because a lot of times if you click on it and it's uh, you click private it won't make it private so always go to another page because if you close that one it will cancel your upload uh, click on my videos go down to edit because it'll say private there but it won't always be private click on edit and it's going kind of slow simply because I'm uploading a video if it ever gets there and then scroll down here confirm that it's on private roll up and hit uh, save changes now as you can see this video got uploaded very quick uh, so here's why you want to make it private a couple of things uh, number one and you can see it's still uploading over here sometimes you want to put music behind your video 
and you don't know if your video music is allowed on YouTube. If your view, if your music is copyrighted and you put your music on there and you upload it and you don't check it first, it might be automatically muted. Well, you don't want a muted video up. So one of the things that I have done in the past is I have uh, used my Studio 12 and I'm going to open that right quick and I have added um, music to nothing and then created that and uploaded it just to see if I could have a music track on YouTube because if you upload one um, with music and it's copyright protected they won't let you have it okay now this video is done it's good we can navigate from this page we can go over to my videos and you're gonna see your video right here now you'll notice down here it's processing if I click on this link I'm not gonna be able to see the video well it's a short video so let's try it, it might be there uh, no it says the video is not processed yet depending on the length of your video it could take anywhere from five minutes to 45 minutes for it to process now you see just in that brief time I've got an icon up so let's click on it again and see what happens okay it says okay an error occurred please try again later so it's not getting to that point in the beginning I would post videos and people would just slam onto them within minutes of them being up and it would still be processing the quality would look like shit and people be like, oh, your quality sucks. So what I do is I leave mine private until uh, it's done. Now, uh, I want you to uh, notice a couple things here. Let's talk about animations. Uh, if you click on your video, an animation is a little pop-up box. For example, uh, if you go over here and you take a look at, um, let me see one of my videos that I've had up here that had some pop-ups on it. Uh, see all... Uh, well, actually, this is a good one right here. If you notice right here, uh, if this video uh, starts to load, when I get over here and I start talking about my boy Cody and his um, and his email address, um, it should pop up right here with the little red box. These are where you can put links to your video and stuff at. Well, it doesn't seem like it's going to get there. Let's see. Okay, let's just go this way and we're going to go to animations and there's the animations that I have and you can put them on there in several different ways send Cody an email and this is your start time and your end time for the animation uh, let's go back over and take a look at uh, my videos and take a look at one of Beast videos I'm going to change this to uh, put my videos in here by views by the number of views um, how about uh, Beast talking weapons and perks you'll go right here you'll notice the click HQ that is an animation and you can also put links on there to where you want the videos to go uh, like for example I can put one on there that says please see Beast Perks video for Modern Warfare and click here by simply clicking on that I have automatically set it up so you can go straight to I'm a Beast Dudes website alright so let's go back over here to this one let's go ahead and uh, refresh this page and see if it's up there no it's still there but we can go ahead and put animations on there while it's doing this and it's still private so we'll go here um, we can just put this one right here notice that it starts at zero and it runs to zero so we can just put hello uh, check out my main page okay so we're going to go ahead and start that at uh, uh, zero and we're going to let it run to the first minute and we're going to go back over here and we're going to go to my main page and all we're really going to do is go up here and right click the link and copy it go back over here to where we want the animation go to the link button go down here right click and put paste and hit save now after you do this you want to hit save and publish and then you can click here to see your published video and check the link now uh, it's not going to play just yet and we're running out of time so we're going to pause right here and pick this up in uploading to uh, YouTube part 2 be back in a minute